In this video, we are going to discuss vitamin B5, also known as pantothenic acid, right? So we are just going to be short and precise because uh, there is no lot of information here. But it's not insignificant. It's an important vitamin as well, right? So we we'll talk about its characteristics, functions and deficiency which again is very rare right so let's begin so these are the characteristics of vitamin b5 the active form is pantothenic acid right or simply pantothenate right uh what are the sources of this vitamin where do we get it right so the sources are liver kidneys egg yolks uh, broccoli and milk and other foods right what about uh, transport right so this vitamin is transported whilst uh, being bound to proteins like albumins for example right let's talk about the functions of vitamin b5 right so Vitamin B5 or pantothenic acid is an essential component of coenzyme A together with ADP and cysteine, right? So to be more specific, uh, it acts as a core factor for transfer of acyl groups, which will again lead to activation of carboxylic acids, right? So there are two enzymes, which I want you to remember, right? The first one is pyruvate dehydrogenase, right? So pyruvate dehydrogenase is found in the uh, transition stage, right? Uh, soon after what? Soon after glycolysis, right? Because after uh, glycolysis at the end, you end up with what? You end up with uh, pyruvate. Then if there is uh, oxygen, right? If it is uh, like aerobic state that's where this enzyme will act in the mitochondria converting pyruvate to acetyl coa right so that's where you find uh this enzyme right uh, another enzyme uh, which is quite similar to pyruvate dehydrogenase complex is alpha ketoglutarate dehydrogenase so this one you find it uh in the krebs cycle right and uh as you are going to see in our nutrition and metabolism series, you realize that these two enzymes have quite similar coenzymes, right? So we call them lovely coenzyme for the nerds. I will give you the mnemonic some time later, right? Coenzyme A is also a core factor for fat acid synthesis, uh, cholesterol synthesis, and acetylcholine synthesis, right? We we'll also talk about uh, these metabolic processes later right okay so remember these two enzymes pyruvate dehydrogenase complex and alpha ketoglutarate dehydrogenase okay let's talk about the deficiency of this vitamin right so the deficiency i told you is very rare but if it occurs it will be mainly due to malnutrition Right. What are the clinical features in absence of this vitamin? Right. So they include the following. The first one, adrenal insufficiency, which may lead to distal paresthesias and dysthesias. Right. So this is where a patient will be feeling like a burning sensation on the feet. Right. The other feature is alopecia or hair loss, uh, dermatitis and enteritis right so uh, thank you so much uh if you are a retaining subscriber i would like to thank you for supporting basic medical sciences we are still young and the night is still young right uh and if this is your first time please don't leave just click that subscribe button so that you won't miss any of our latest videos and also it will give me energy to make more videos for free thank you so much until next time Thank you.